I'm in a remote region of Java, Indonesia. It searched the allegedly extinct Javan tiger. But after three days, we've still found nothing. It's a good choice. As the crew and I eat together, we formulate a new game plan. Since venturing out with less crew seemed to produce more animal sightings in Sukumade, I'm trekking out into the jungle with just a single cameraman, Mike Cheeseman. Man, look at all that moisture in the air. I did not see that far. Oh, look right there. There's something on the beach. Look at the eyes. See it? I set a trail cam not far from there with some chicken. That could be what it's after. That's the closest I've ever been to a palm civet. And I'm hoping, just like him, out will come a tiger from this jungle and patrol that same line. And we'll either get to see him like that or we'll get him on the trail camera. As we get deeper into the jungle, I begin to feel a familiar sensation. A predator is watching us. I don't know what that was. I just saw two big eyes about this high off the ground. Gone. Whatever that was, it didn't want to be seen. Could have been something up in a tree. Could have been a really big animal. It's hard to say. Something literally circling around us with two big yellow eyes. We could be 10 foot away from whatever's stalking us right now. And if it wasn't looking in our exact direction, when I shot in that way, I would never see it. Mike Cheeseman, my cameraman, is having the team, who's about a half mile away, quickly deploy a heat sensing drone. If something is on us, we're about to see it. No, whatever that is. Put the drone in the air, did a buzz down the coast, and spotted something large on all fours. Um, it's kind of hard to tell right now what it is, but it's a pretty large animal, so it doesn't leave a whole lot of options for what it could be. This brush is so damn thick, I can't see anything through it. We've run into a sheer rough cliff. We're going to try and climb up it. It's directly in front of you guys, if you can get up there. up on the team. I got to see what they got. That was unbelievable. How'd it look? What'd you get? No, we were really close. We could hear it, sort of. We knew, we could see the drone, but we didn't get a look at it. I'm guessing you got it. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't tell what it was, but it was very lanky on all fours, kind of slanking through the woods, like. Could you see us and it? Oh yeah. If we had been in any different habitat, we would have got a shot of it. We were on a vertical mountain face like this in vegetation that you could not see from me to you. Let's see it. But I'm, I mean, at this point, I'm, I'm 200 feet in the air and look how big it is. Yeah. Oh, it's huge. The Javan tiger was especially long, averaging over eight feet. So here's that rock face. Yep. So you guys come up the edge there. Oh yeah. Right? And then it's right there. Oh my god, we were so right beside guys, it. You guys start 
moving in toward it. You guys are right there. It's right there. <laughs> and then see ya, gone. It's bigger than we are. It's twice as big as you are. The only other large cat out here is the Javan leopard. But they only grow up to five feet long. Dude, there's only one thing out here that can move up a cliff like that at that speed that's bigger than we are that moves in silence and grace like that. Hey, good work, dude. That was awesome. Cheese, you're the man. You made it through the bush. Having pushed our financial resources to their limit for this expedition, Didik, I, and the rest of the crew head back to Sukumare, very hopeful about the evidence we've collected. I think one of the things that happens is when you're going somewhere new, you automatically imprint onto that location stereotypes. I assumed the wildlife was gonna be depleted. I assumed proper studies and surveys had been conducted looking for the tiger. And I assumed nobody had ever seen a tiger. But when I got here, that was all flipped upside down. It was the complete opposite of that. There were no proper studies done. There are tons of people that have seen tigers and there's this expansive wilderness packed with wildlife that can easily support a tiger population. It's our last day in Java. And before I wrap this expedition, there's one last stop I need to make. Mr. Didick. Oh, yes? Oh, yeah? Hey, buddy. Oh. I'm about to leave to go to the airport. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to say thank you very much for everything. Terima kasih juga. Terima Also, I brought you a gift. I know you had yours stolen, so oh, this yeah? was for you. Yeah, okay. actually, keep it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome, buddy. Thank you, Graham. Okay, Grammy. thank you. It's ready to me? Yes, it's yours. Really, wow. really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want you to get a tiger, okay? Okay. All right. Terima kasih. <laughs> Thank you. Saya ada kenang-kenangan untuk Mr. Forrest. Saya ambil dulu. You have something for me? Yes. Oh, oh. sure. <laughs> oh, oh wow. A machete. Oh, that's beautiful. I was admiring your machete the whole time. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. This is really an honor. This whole journey has been a huge honor. Okay. Thank Selamat you so jalan. much. Keep well. Okay. Bye-bye. I've searched for rare and extinct species from one corner of the globe to the other, and I've never been as inspired about the ongoing existence of an animal as I am the Javan tiger.